lot of people tell me they get stressed out from work and the anxieties of life and they miss their workouts or have cheat meals. Now it's important that you don't let stress overtake your life and force you to miss workouts or meals. You should look at your workouts as a way to relieve stress and help you cope with things that are weighing you down. So whenever you feel stressed out, take a walk, head to the gym, do something active to help you relax. Don't let stress hinder your results. Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday, week four. Today's your first lower body workout of the week. Same exercises as always on Tuesday, but again, we're doing five sets of four to six reps this week. It's gonna be very tough today. We got five sets of squats, then five sets of stiff leg deadlifts. It's really gonna challenge you, so you're gonna have to push yourself hard. You may find it hard today to complete all five sets for each exercise, but that's how the program's built. The program is built around progressive overload, and each workout and each week is gonna be harder than the one before it. In order to grow, you're gonna really need to push yourself hard. Now think about that as you head over to the gym and prepare for your workout. All right, let's head over, do your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and I'll see you in the weight room. All right, we just came from my office to start your workout at the gym. You should have already done your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio. This is week four, we're doing our Tuesday workout. Remember, we're doing the same Tuesday workout each week, except we're changing the number of sets and reps you complete. This week, we're doing five sets of four to six reps. Let's jump right into the workout and head over to do squats. Your form has continually been getting better on squats, and you should really feel comfortable doing this exercise. If at any time you don't feel comfortable with your form, be sure to check out what Rob is doing to see how to do it correctly. As always, we're gonna start off with two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. You've completed your warm-up sets, so let's add some weight to the bar and move on to your heavy sets of four to six reps. This is the heaviest you've gone on squats so far, so it's gonna be a challenge. But be sure to use proper form during each and every rep. If you start to feel like your form is slipping, stop the set and decrease the weight. You've completed your five sets of four to six reps, so let's take all the weights off and be sure that you write down your numbers in your workout log. As I've been stressing, during the second half of this program, the numbers in your workout log are gonna become very important. The second exercise for today's workout is a stiff leg deadlift for the hamstrings. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. You've completed your two warm-up sets, so let's add some weight and start on your five sets of four to six reps. Just as I mentioned for squats, you're starting to use some heavy weights now, but you still wanna always focus on using the proper form. If you feel like you're not hitting your hamstrings and hitting too much of your lower back, you need to stop and take a look at your form. Follow Rob's example of correct form. You've completed your five sets of four to six reps, so let's take all the weights off, record your numbers in your workout journal, and move on to the next exercise. Third exercise in today's workout is the leg press for the quads. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. You've completed your two warm-up sets, so let's add some weight to the machine for your heavy sets of four to six reps. Be sure that your feet are placed in the proper position and you're using correct form for each and every rep. If you're unsure of the correct foot position and form, be sure to follow Rob's example. You finished your five sets of four to six reps, so let's take all the weights off the machine and move on to the next exercise. The fourth exercise for today's workout is the standing calf raise. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you've completed your warm-up sets, let's increase the weight for your five sets of four to six reps. As always, make sure the shoulder pads are in the correct position before starting. Focus on using a full range of motion and correct form. Once you complete your five sets of four to six reps, write down your performance in your workout journal. Since we're using a machine, there's no weights to put back. Our fifth exercise for this workout is the seated calf raise. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your warm-up sets, increase the weight and start on your five sets of four to six reps. Make sure that the knee pads are in the correct starting position and use proper form throughout the entire exercise. Once you've completed all five sets of four to six reps, take off the weights, put them back on the rack, and then enter your numbers into your workout journal. Our sixth exercise for today is the incline crunch. By now, you should be able to add weight to this exercise. Start off by doing one set of 10 reps with just your body weight as a warm-up. Once you complete your warm-up, you can then hold the plate to your chest for the rest of your sets. You want to choose a weight where you can complete at least 8 reps, but no more than 12 reps. Once you complete your 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps, 
be sure to put back any plates you may have used. Final exercise for today's workout is the back extension. Just like with the incline crunch, you should now be able to add weight to this exercise. Start off with one warm up set of 10 reps using just your body weight. After you complete your warm up set, you can then hold a plate to your chest during the exercise. You want to choose a weight that allow you to complete at least 8 reps, but no more than 12 reps. Once you complete your 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps, put back the plate you used and then write down your numbers in your workout journal. You just completed your Tuesday week 4 workout. Today we did 5 sets of 4 to 6 reps, so we're starting to get into the heavy workouts. Next week we're going to do 6 sets of 3 reps, which will be your heaviest workout so far. Now it's time to do your post-workout stretching, so be sure to stretch all the muscles of your lower body. Once you're done with your stretching, let's head back over to my office and we can go over today's workout. You made it through today's workout. Like I said, it wasn't going to be easy, but you pushed through and you completed it. Those five sets of squats were tough, but you know what? All that effort you put forth is really going to pay off in the end. Since today's workout was so intense, you're probably going to find it hard to walk tomorrow. But that's okay. You got your 30 minutes of cardio, which is going to help facilitate recovery and help you feel better. Now your goal today is to go home, get in all of your meals, and eat healthy foods. Tomorrow, we're going to learn all about the final macronutrient, fat, and then we're going to teach you how to implement that correctly into your diet. So go home, rest up, and I'll see you tomorrow.